and more specifically today, ladies and gentlemen. I've had a very late night, by the way, so do bear with me. Today, I am at a friend's Senna collection. I've been promised that this Senna is a one-off. It's one of the only ones in the world, and it's had a special paint mixed specifically for this car, and it changes color. The paint alone, I think, was nudging 30 grand. Quite a lot of paint. And then there was all sorts of pinstriping and, and kind of crazy details on it. My friend, I'll leave his Instagram on the screen. He said, TG, what are you doing? Do you want to come to McLaren London and help me collect a Senna? I was like, yes, yes I do. And I'll bring a camera. So that is exactly what I'm doing. McLaren London is behind me. And at this stage, I know you're probably all in the comments saying, but McLaren, TG, you hate McLaren. I don't hate McLaren. I just think some of the cars that they produce are a bit shoddy. Uh, and we've been through that uh, a number of times. Uh, but I've made peace with McLaren. We, we, are, we are friends. I've been quite adult about it. I put out a video on this. Uh, and I'm now allowed into McLaren dealerships, which is all very exciting. Uh, and quite lucky, really, because I'm filming a video today here. So, without further procrastination, without further justification, let's get on with the video. Let's get the covers off this center. And let's take it out. So then the covers are off this McLaren Senna and it is not any old McLaren Senna. You will have clocked already in the uh, preceding shots of the car. There are lots and lots of cool details on this, one-off details. This car has been through MSO and back and then back through MSO again. It's got so many options on it. I've just been through the list here. I'm struggling in this light to show you exactly how cool the options on this car is. Everywhere you look, there's bits of flip paint, there's details everywhere, even in there. So. Before I get very excited, I'm going to start with the basics. The colour is actually a new colour. It is called Laguna Black. Basically, and I don't know if you can pick it up in this light, we're going to take it out into the daylight. It goes from black into purple, depending on which way you look at it, the direction in which it's travelling. And then you'll also see these stripes here going the whole way through. I can vouch for the fact, I don't know if that's picking it up in the camera, but that changes from purple, kind of to red, to bright blue, into this really nice dark blue, depending on how you look at it. And that colour is carried around all onto the details around the lights, in here, and all around the car. It's even carried through onto the centre locks as well. That is flip paint on the centre locks, mental. Coming around the car then, you've got this detail all the way, running back through the car. The stripe continues here. I'm not going to shove the camera in his face, I don't want to ruin his collection day. He is on Instagram though, make sure you go and follow him. And the details again carry through here, air vents. Pinstriping on the diffuser down there. I don't know if you can pick that up in this light. As I say, we're going to get this out into the daylight and see what this paint can really do. So the MSO total on this car, option spent, was about 100k in MSO alone. And that is not including the options you get on the car already. So that that will be added to the bill. And then obviously the list price of the car. I would imagine this was probably, probably 850 thereabouts. I mean, look at that, that is carnage. I think, at some point, we've already discussed this, I think that plate is probably gonna fall off, sadly. That can happen with a lot of these cars. I mean, that is just chaos. I know I'm not the biggest fan of McLaren, but you can't argue with that. That is absolutely potty. It's probably the best center I've ever seen. Elsewhere in the dealership then, we've got a P1 GTR. This is actually road legal and it's three million quid. I think list price on this was about 1.2 and it's now three million. So for those that say that all McLarens depreciate, well, I do, this one hasn't. So if you've got three million quid and you want to buy something absolutely silly, come and buy it. That is literally a racing car. That. There's some mundane stuff in it. I must admit, I don't really get the 570 and the 540 and the Spider and the GT and all that kind of stuff. I don't really understand them. They don't really do anything for me. They're great cars, but I don't know. I just don't really understand it, to be honest. Also in here, we've got this. What is this? Ah, oh, 600LT with pretty much everything spec'd. All important option there. Got a roof snorkel. That, I believe, I don't know. I think that's like 30 odd grand. That's a very, very cool spec'd. 600 LT, and these are actually Senna seats in here as well. Obviously you can spec them in the 600 LT, but those are from a Senna. Really, really nice spec actually. I really like the 600 LT. 
but I really don't like them. It's just what they've done with that. I think they just transformed from an absolutely kind of very ignorable car to something quite cool. Hello, Archie. Hello. Did you have a nice evening last night, Archie? Very, very good. Why is it whenever we come here, we've had a very, very late night? Yeah. Yeah. What were you doing? Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Okay. okay. No, well, it's a center, Archie. That's sick. Yeah, you like that. Okay. What's now happening then? I'm going to go downstairs, get the piece there, and then we're going to go find the centre because it is around somewhere. It is uh, out in the sunshine. Look at this, that's right here. We've got a Ventador. After a Ventador. After a Ventador. After a Ventador. And of course, obligatory G-Wagon and a 4x4 squared as well. Oh, and another G-Wagon there as well. Absolute carnage. So yeah, we're just going to go underground now. Secret parking. Get the piece there and head out. So the cars are parked up. We're bored of these two for now. We're here to see the Senna out in the sunlight. And it's only now that you can fully appreciate how special the paint on this car really, really is. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but there's multicolored different flecks in there. There's, sort of, there's blue flecks, there's kind of some ready flecks in there on black paint. And as I said at the start of the video, this is a one-off color developed specifically for this car and for this owner. It is a true, true one-off. And I hope you're getting across at home exactly how special this thing looks in the sunlight. I don't think I've seen a center look as good as this. It's absolutely perfect. And everywhere you look, there's just really cool details. And there's one thing you can't fault McLaren on. MSO, they go to town. When they set their mind to something and customers come with special requests, they pull it out of the bag. MSO are unbelievable. They're probably the best customization uh, program there is available out of any supercar. So, Really, really cool job they've done of this. And it, to be honest with you, makes the piece to look a bit mundane. And that is saying a lot. Really, really cool. Huge, huge thanks to the owner of this car. I bleeped his name out anyway. I said his name earlier. I bleeped that out. Uh, he's a private bloke. He shares his cars online, but he doesn't want his face or anything online. I really respect that. I'm actually quite jealous of that. I'd love to not put my face online. But anyway, make sure you follow him on Instagram because he shares his car journeys on there. And there's a lot more silly collections coming up. Thank you then so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, very impromptu little churn. See you again very, very soon. Bye now.